guys, Dan here from Design Mountain bringing you all things design. This week we're checking out the direct editing tools in SolidWorks that enables you to modify parts without the use of a feature tree. Let's jump in and take a look. Sometimes for whatever reason you might not have access to the native CAD file um, for a part or model that you need to make changes to. And this can appear daunting because you won't have the feature tree or you won't have the history um, of how a part was made. So you end up using um, imported geometry and fortunately for us um, SolidWorks has a suite of direct editing tools that enable the manipulation of models um, without the need of features or feature tree. So we're going to take a look today at how you can go about um, modifying a part using only direct editing tools so there's no access to a previous feature tree or the history of a part. Okay guys, so we have our imported part here um, and the first thing that I would recommend doing is doing uh, running import diagnostics on the part and this is basically where SolidWorks will check it out and make sure um, it's good, the geometry is good, um, it's robust and uh, the reason I say this is purely because it will give you a good foundation um, to model with moving forward. So if we right click import diagnostics, um, here SolidWorks has found one face, click the attempt to heal and it's green up here so you're good to go. It's also worth mentioning that there is a feature recognition where SolidWorks will attempt to um, define um, or give you the features of the part. I'm not going to use it today because it's very hit and miss, I have limited success of it but I'll show you where it is. If you come right click, come down feature works, recognize features, it'll go through a wizard, um, sort of works, will then try and um, apply features to the things of the part. So um, the direct editing tools, right click on the toolbar and make sure that direct editing is ticked. The main ones we're looking at today are move face and delete face but delete key body and move copy bodies are really good tools as well but we'll, we'll take a look at them another day. So the modifications we need to make, we need to adjust the fillets here. Um, we've got to move this, this face needs to be higher, the part's got to be higher, we've got to adjust an angle and we've got to move the bosses in. So before we can do anything we need to strip the um, geometry back of the fillets. If you're using the move face tool Fillets will essentially define the boundary of the face, so you will not be able to move um, the face if it's got fillets applied. So the first job is to strip them back. If we come to delete face, delete and patch, we're going to select this fillet. Um, and if you're removing a fillet, you've got to select the, the tangency of it to enable it to work. So you see it's removed it and it's patched it with the existing geometry. We're going to do the same here for these um, other fillets so that we've got flexibility to modify the part. And the last one we'll do are these ones. And so now we've stripped the part back, we've got flexibility to um, edit the faces. So we come up to move face. The first one we're going to do is um, offset. We've got three options. We'll take a look at all of them. So we want to move this face up 5 mil. And because it's a hollow part, we're going to do the same to the internal face. To maintain our wall thickness. So yeah, we're good there. And now we want to adjust this angle here. So we come to move face again and go rotate, select the face, pick the axis you want to rotate the face about. Flip direction, go five. And we'll try and select the internal face so it moves it equally, yes. Let's take a look. Yeah, that's that's worked well for us. And 
um, you'll note as we're going along, the move face tool is super powerful, um, really helpful, um, and can get you out of some sticky situations. Um, and what's the other one we need to do? We need to move these bosses in. So we come to move face again, select the translate option, select that face, that face, that face and that face and we want to move this boss in 1.5 mil go ok let's have a look at that a minute here yeah, that's looking good and we'll select the same of this boss looking good and we'll do the same for this one and then just go and edit the feature and select this boss as well so we can move them together Yeah, it's looking good and now we're happy with the revised geometry it's uh, it's looking good um, we can add our Phillips back in so come up to the fillet Okay, we've got our fillets there and we're going for a fillet at the top there, 10 mil. to the edges and then fillets on the inside so that's it Guys, that's um, a brief introduction to some of the direct editing tools, move face and delete face. Super powerful, super helpful. Um, if you didn't know about them, get to grips with them and sort of practice with them. They are super helpful. Okay, guys, that's it for this week. That is uh, taking a look at the direct editing tools in SolidWorks. Hope you found it helpful um, or, you know, enjoyed the video. And uh, let me know, you know, do you guys use direct editing? How do you like to use it? Uh, did, did you know about it? Um, if you've got any questions or comments, as always, uh, drop, drop us a comment and uh, I will try and help. I um, hope you like the video and uh, as always, see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.